Alright, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the dot product, okay? Now, we've done some work with multiplying a scalar times a, a vector, okay? But in this video, we're going to start to multiply a vector times a vector, okay? Now, the way we do that, the, the first way we're going to learn, okay, because there's two ways, but the first way that we're going to learn to do vector multiplication is we're going to find the dot product okay and that's also known as the scalar product and we're going to talk about some of the uses because obviously there has to be a meaning to that you know a meaning to finding the dot product what does that mean okay we'll talk more about that in the videos to come but for now let's focus on how to find the dot product okay and it's actually a pretty simple process so here is basically how you do the dot product okay or how you find the dot product rather. You have two vectors, A and B, okay? And you start off with your A vector being A1, A2, A3, and your B vector being B1, B2, B3, okay? So if you want to do A dot B, okay, to find your dot product, your dot product will be A sub one times B sub one. So you're multiplying your first two components and then you're adding your second set of components multiplied together and then you're adding your third set of components multiplied together okay so really a pretty simple process here okay finding the dot product is nothing difficult all right so let's do a quick example here so we want to dot the vector 352 to we're going to dot that with 261 okay and we need to find the dot product right so now, we have to start off by following this formula, okay? So we have to multiply the first two components together. Three times two. So I'll write it out for you. This is equal to three times two, okay? We're gonna add our second set of components, a sub two and b sub two. We're gonna, we're gonna multiply those together and we're gonna add that to uh, our, our answer here. So we have five times six. And then we multiply our third set of components and add it on. Two times one. Okay? And that is equal to, well, three times two is six, five times six is 30, and two times one is two. So this is equal to 38. So in Calc 3, we're not just going to be finding the dot product and that's it, okay? For, of course, just to get used to finding the dot product, that's what you're going to be doing for a while. But Eventually, what we're going to be doing is taking this dot product, okay, and we're going to be putting it into equations. We're going to be doing other stuff with it, and that's going to allow us to find a bunch of different stuff that's really useful, okay? So that's kind of why we're doing this to start off with, okay? And, and that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for vectors and the geometry of space in the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.